One thousand years ago, superstition and the sword ruled. It was a time of darkness. It was a world of fear. It was the age of gargoyles. What is going on, fellow board members? Welcome to another exciting episode of Ord's Board. Today we are taking a look at yet another article from We Got This Covered, live-action Gargoyles movie with original cast reportedly in early development. So I know that they've been talking about this for a long time, um, or there's been whispers of a uh, Gargoyles thing going uh, going on. Um, again, this is just another one of Disney's attempts to recreate childhoods uh, and then incinerate them to the ground. Uh, with a fiery blowtorch. Um, I, I have to admit, I do have to admit, guys, that I'm a little excited to hear about this. Uh, however, I am cautiously optimistic going forward because it is Disney, and with Disney, guys, you never can tell. Just because The Mandalorian is successful doesn't mean that a gar Gargoyles live-action uh, movie or even show would be successful. Um, they are two different entities. Uh, with that being said, again, cautiously optimistic. Anyway, guys, let's dive into this article and see what We Got This Covered has to say about it. The recent launch of Disney Plus has given fans access to a huge array of content from the Mouse House's back catalog. And despite the presence of overwhelming majority of the studio's animated classics and plenty of brand new content alongside heavy hitters like The Simpsons, The Marvel Cinematic Universe, Star Wars, and Pixar, one of the streaming service's most popular titles has been a cult animated series that only ran for 78 episodes between 1994 and 1997. Uh, the show was very successful. Uh, when I was a kid, they had a uh, movie, uh, uh, the action figures were awesome, very reminiscent of like the the animated uh, Batman action figures. Um, I wonder if they were the same developer of those toys. But anyway, very reminiscent of that. The action figures were really great. The show was fun. Um, it, it was something fresh and new. Um, and, and, you know, this kind of leads me to, to think that maybe Disney Plus, um, albeit having, having its own content or its original content, maybe Disney Plus is essentially... Um, you know, a way to gain information, to see what people want, to see what they can remake, um, to see what's popular or what was popular, what people are watching, and, and then remake it. You know, it's a testing ground, essentially. Um, that I don't know. Maybe that's just kind of some weird conspiracy thing, but I think Disney Plus is definitely a testing ground because Disney has finally run out of ideas, so they're reaching out to other people to get ideas. So because it's been a huge hit on Disney Plus, they're <laughs> looking at making a movie. I don't necessarily think that's a good idea. Again, Disney, think about this, man. Just think about it. Gargoyles is remembered finally by fans as one of the best cartoons of the era, and thanks to Disney Plus, a whole new generation are set to discover the show. Following the titular characters as they become the nocturnal protectors of New York City after spending a thousand years encased in stone, the Shakespearean-inspired narratives and surprisingly complex themes have seen the series gain a second life as an enduring favorite. Okay, so uh, within that line, and I want, I really want Disney to read this article, and I actually think this is a relatively decent article uh, in the sense that, um, at least so far, in the sense that they hit these bullet points, guys, um, the Shakespearean-inspired narratives, the surprisingly complex themes. These are complex themes that children understand but are still complex. You know, again, teaching kids to learn. This is why the show was so good back in the day, guys, was because uh, it challenged people to think. It was different. Uh, again, the Shakespearean-inspired stories. Um, who doesn't love a good Shakespearean story, man? Um, this is exactly uh, how the show was, and the only way that they're going to make this uh, movie a viable thing is if they do that. It has to be challenging, complex themes, not woke agendas and you know, uh, you know, political narratives or you know, um, it just it, it doesn't need to be this woke SJW nonsense. Write complex themes because they're good, not because they're pushing a narrative. In fact, almost as soon as Disney Plus launched, Gargoyles was already trending on social media, leading to creator Greg Weissman launching a Twitter campaign in hopes to getting the opportunity to reboot the property. Now, I think it's a good idea if they bring the original creator, original writer in. Um, I think that's a good start, Disney, if we can do that. And, and, I, and I think it's great that he, he reached out. 
Um, and there wasn't really Disney, uh, you know, who. So maybe, maybe, guys, maybe, knock on wood, this might be something decent. Well, Disney aren't entirely committed to the idea of the fully fledged revival of the show. A live action Gargoyles movie featuring the original cast is in the early stages of development. It is unclear if any of the stars have been contacted yet, but from what we understand, the intention is to get at least most of them back if this goes ahead. Um, okay, so they're saying it's confirmed it, it's in development, but they haven't got any of the cast yet. So they're obviously still writing it, um, and I'm, I'm assuming they're working very close with Greg Weissman on this. Um, if it is uh, going to go ahead, um, you definitely got to get the original cast back, at least to do the, the voice acting. Obviously, I don't know how old these people are now, but, you know, whatever. Um, you got to get the original cast back. Uh, here's some fan art that I think is really cool that they put in this article. Um, this is kind of giving you an idea of what it could be like. Um, I think the design is very cool. Um, it, it sticks in the vein. It adds an, uh, a little bit uh, ele you know, different element to it from the original. Um, so, yeah, this is some kind of cool artwork, guys. Hopefully you enjoy that artwork there. As you may have already heard, lead voice actor Keith David is just one of the names that have admitted to having an interest in returning to the well. And a quick glance at the voice cast of the series reveals a veritable who's who of veteran voice and character actors. Ed Asner, Frank Welker, John Rice Davis, Kate Mulgrew, and Jonathan Franks all played roles on the Gargoyles. I botched all those names. Moving along. With Disney Plus set to develop a huge and diverse array of live-action content in order to boost subscriber numbers, a Gargoyle film seems like a no-brainer. The show already has a built-in fan base that's only going to grow larger. And the idea of doing a live-action version of the performance-captured title characters along the lines of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and the Planet of the Apes franchise, which would put a fresh and interesting spin on the concept for friends both old and new. Um, so I haven't heard of any new fans coming to this show. Um, I've heard a lot of people my age talking about this show. I, I don't know if uh, you would be able to pull in enough new fan base to make this a viable franchise again. Um, I don't know. You know what, guys? Leave a comment below. If you know if you've got kids out there who've watched the show, uh, tell me what they think. If you guys uh, have watched the show recently for the first time, tell me what you guys think of the show. What do you guys think of a live action, uh, you know, Gargoyles movie? I'm on the fence. I'm opti uh, You know, I'm uh, cautiously optimistic, um, and I think it could be a good thing if they got the original cast back. If they got the original writer creator of the show, um, I think they could make it a viable thing. And as long as we don't go woke i think we'll be just fine anyway guys that's the article here i struggled through it i apologize for that uh with that being said hopefully you guys like this video if you did please hit the like button below hit the bell for notifications hit the subscription button that always helps thank you guys so much guys um look forward to this more information on the gargoyles live action project in the works guys thank you so much for watching this video i love all of you guys and we will catch you on the other side peace